Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another Avid Media Composer tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to be refining the edit further and using some new tools including in and out points once again, overwrite edits, extract and lift. We're working our way towards the end of the scene. We have the couple in the bar who've been sort of flirting with each other and we've now got the woman is now accepting the man's invitation, getting up and heading over the bar towards him. So good long walking shot over and she joins him. There's um, a big difference between real time and screen time and there's nothing particularly wrong with having the person walking all the way over other than it is really sort of redundant in terms of storytelling and as editors when you start to learn your craft you'll realize that we probably don't need to have an entire walk across a room so we're going to use a few tools to sort of um, compress time downward so that she actually gets to the table more quickly we are going to start with i think we're going to queue up this close-up here of our actor and let's just have a look at him he's watching her now coming over the room let's have a little look that's good nice performance there i'm going to set an in point and then i'm going to set an out point if you want to remove your in and out points if you're not happy with where they are you can press g and they're removed what i'd like to do now is instead of pressing v to get this into the timeline which is an insert edit i want to press b which is an override edit and i'll show you the difference between the two have a look at the end of the timeline here. This is where you're going to see the difference in it. Let's just queue it up. So that's one step, two steps. That's probably going to be enough. If I press V, the timeline extends in time. I've inserted his reaction and the timeline's grown longer. So I'm going to undo that. And what I'm going to do is press B and again have a look at the time here. It should remain about 1 minute 40. If I press B, it's overwritten the time that's here and the time has not been extended. So we've overwritten that portion of her walking across the screen with his reaction. I'll demonstrate that one more time. If I press V, it's an insert edit and it's added time. You can see it's gone way past 1 minute 40. Whereas if I press B, it overwrites the material that's there. And we get her across the room a little bit more quickly. Let's have a little look and see what we've got. So again, I th you know, I think we could possibly make an argument to say that we can actually just start this edit with her a little bit closer. So I'm going to show you another method of actually uh, removing footage. I'm going to press O to mark an out point on the timeline. I'm going to use my up and down key to go back to the last edit. I'm going to press I and I've marked an in and an out point. This signifies that I want to remove this bit of footage. So I'm going to press X and X is known as extract and it's gone. You could of course use Q which we did on the last tutorial and you might find that quicker but some people do like to use in and out. Let's now just press J. Let's play this back and just see what we've got. Let's see if we can just condense the time a little bit. I think we have. Yeah, that feels good. So we have 1 minute 40, you can see it was over there. We've probably knocked off a good 3 seconds. And uh, I think that's much improved. Let's now examine another tool, which is known as Lift. The director's come around, had a look at the cut, likes what we've got so far, but wants to experiment with a different take from the man in the close-up. So at the moment we are, if I just zoom in a bit on the timeline, we're using uh, take seven as you can see here. We're going to queue up take six and let's just see if we can just show the director an alternative. Okay, so let's just see the reaction we've got. There it is. And let's queue up the reaction that's in 
the other take. And the director wants to have a little bit of a different look at something different. Let's see what we've got. Okay, so we can see the woman's handbag coming into the frame. We're going to mark an out point. We're going to press J to rewind a bit and press an in point. And we're going to go to the timeline or the sequence and we're going to look for the corresponding clip that we need to replace. I'm going to use my down arrow key to go to the edit here. I'm going to press out point. I'm going to use my up and down arrow key to go to the edit here to press in point. And we want to remove this portion, but I don't want to press extract. If I press extract, it won't leave a space to replace this clip here. So on this occasion, I'm going to press Z. And Z is known as lift. It lifts out the footage, but leaves the time of the sequence as it was. I'm now going to do an overwrite edit again. Press B, and in it goes. Let's have a look and see what we've got. Now, that's not great, and there's a reason for that. I'd set an out point there and an in point there, leaving this amount of footage. It's something like, I think, about three seconds. And I wanted this lovely shot of the handbag in, but the corresponding amount of time up here didn't hit the corresponding amount of time here. I wanted that handbag in on the out point, but because the times didn't match up, it just trimmed it and it did what's known as a fit to fill. Now there is a way around this. I'm going to go back up to my clip that I want in, because what I do want is that handbag on the out point. I'm going to clear my in and out point. Let's just find that handbag coming in. Let's get a decent shot of it. And I'm going to press out point only. What that means is when I do my overwrite edit, it's going to create an in and out point to fit into the timeline, but it's going to base it just on the out point here. So it's going to guarantee I'll get that out point and then backtrack to fill the amount of space here. And because it's just the out point, it should retain that handbag moving. So let's try it. Let's press B. Let's play it back. And in it goes. Now, as it's turned out, I actually don't think particularly that that actual handbag works. I think it's a bit of a disruptive edit. So I'm going to press Command-Z to undo actually what we've done. But it's a useful tool. It's known as Lift, and I can just show you it one more time. Mark an Out point, mark an In point, and instead of pressing X, which is Extract, we press Z, which is Lift. And it creates a space for your new take to be overwritten in, which we do by pressing B. A final tool that I think I'll show you on this tutorial just to make quick editing decisions. The director's decided that instead of this slightly wider shot, uh, what the director's after is the woman coming in and sitting down on this much more closer shot, a bit more powerful. So to quickly remove something from the timeline, you can press T and that creates an in and out point around that clip. Then I can press X which lifts it straight away. T is very useful for quickly extracting footage. Let's now queue up the shot of the woman coming in. Mark an in point. Yeah, that's a better, much more powerful shot. We'll mark an out point, and I'm gonna press V to insert that into the timeline. Let's now see what we've got. Yeah, that's good. That's working. Okay, we'll move on to some more tools in the next tutorial.